Let's go. Uh, my name is Chris May. Uh, I just got out of the Army last month. I uh, came down here to help out with the Occupy movement any way I can. I believe that the separation of wealth and balance in this country has got to a point where people have forgotten um, what is morally correct. Um, such as you look around Asheville, I'm from Asheville. You look around Asheville and you have all these summer homes, you have all these vacant places, uh, and then you have people living under a bridge, or you have homeless people. I mean, right behind you, you got some million dollar houses yeah. on the hill up there. Yeah, you just look up see there. if I can zoom in, uh, see them up on the ridge. You know, personally, me, I can't afford those. You know, and multi million fine. dollar homes, yeah. That, that's fine, you know, like I support anybody's right to live, live life the way they feel is correct, but if that makes it impossible for other people to survive, then that's wrong. That's morally wrong. And I think people have forgotten the separation between what their legal rights are and what their moral obligation to the world is. And I think that's what needs to change. If I could ask you one question, sir. Yeah. Um, how do you feel coming back from war to realize that people are being, their rights are being trampled on? Well, uh, me personally, I never deployed. I filed for conscientious objector status, but having said that, I feel, you know, with what I've seen, you know, there's a lot of people going off to war and, and believing that they're fighting for uh, all these great rights for people, uh, when at the same time, their own government is stripping their rights away. You know, it's, it's legally allowed for uh, the government to spy on soldiers now, to monitor all their communications. Um, because there is dissent, because there are soldiers specifically saying, you know, wait a minute, I don't really think this is right. So now the chain of command has a legal right to spy on them. You know, the, the chain of command also has a legal right to send soldiers with issues such as PTSD and TBI and military sexual trauma back to war. You know, these are people seeking help, people that did go and fight for their country, what they believe is right, and now they have some problems and issues because of it. And the chain of command just sends them back, just sends them back to war and keep fighting, we'll deal with it later. And that's wrong. You know, and now we're going to have a lot of people coming back from combat theaters that are going to get processed out of the military faster than they thought because the military is downsizing and they're going to be thrown into a world where they don't have the support network people don't understand what's going on with them there's no jobs you know and they're not going to be able to get the help they need and I think that's going to be a big issue coming up in you know the next couple years all right man thank you yeah man excellent Thanks for